try be lifted up. Luke chapter 19 from verse 1 to 6. Jesus was going through the city of Jericho. In Jericho there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a, wealth, a wealthy, very important tax collector. He wanted to see who Jesus was. There were many others who wanted to see Jesus too. Zacchaeus was too short to see above the people, so he ran to a place where he knew Jesus would come. Then he climbed a sycamore tree so he could see him. When Jesus came to where Zacchaeus was, he looked up and saw him in the tree. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, hurry, come down. I must stay at your house today. Zacchaeus hurried and came down. He was happy to have Jesus in his house. Many people today are like Zacchaeus. They want to know who Jesus is. Unfortunately, many of them are looking for him where he is not, in strange religions, dead churches, and so on. Now, Jesus is not showing himself physically to everyone today like he did to Zacchaeus and many others in his time. He still appears to some, but has left a good portion of the showing to his followers. In John 3, 14 and 15, Jesus said, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And in John 12, 32, he said, And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Even though these scriptures talk about the kind of death Jesus was going to die, and we know that he's never ever going to die again, he still wants those of us who know him to lift him up. To lift up is to hold up or display on high, to exhibit on high, and it also means to move or bring upward to a higher position. Now in 2 Corinthians 5.20, we are referred to as ambassadors for Christ. In other words, we are authorized messengers or representatives of Jesus Christ. Our mission is to show the world who Jesus is. This we are to do by preaching the gospel, that is evangelism, and also by acting out his nature for all to see. We are to present the beauty of the holiness of the Lord to everyone. We have a duty to make Jesus attractive so that people can desire him, Matthew 5.16. How well are you lifting Jesus up? Is your lifestyle drawing people to him or driving them away? In order to represent Jesus though, we must know who he is, what his character is, and what he was like when he was here on earth. For instance, Jesus handled criticism very well. He never held grudges against anyone but forgave people freely and even prayed sincerely for his persecutors. Jesus was humble and obedient. He was submissive to the will of God even when it was leading him to a shameful death. Jesus never changed his message for any reason or for anyone, whether enemies, friends, persecutors, and so on. He remained focused till he accomplished his mission. Jesus dwelt among sinners, sick people, the poor, and so on, without looking down on anyone. He was even very respectful towards his followers. Jesus was hardworking all around. He knew that his time was very short and should not be wasted. He was a good example to his followers. He was not a taskmaster who wanted to drive his disciples too hard, but he was a caring master who understood that even though his followers needed to work hard, they also needed to take out time to rest. Mark 6, 31. These are just a few of the things we learn about our Lord Jesus Christ as we study the scriptures. Be reminded that you cannot know Jesus enough to be a good ambassador for him if the only time you learn about him is when you go to church. To truly represent the Lord, go into the scriptures and find out who he is, what he likes, what he hates, and what he expects of you as his own, and so on. Jesus said in John chapter 5 verse 39 that the scriptures testify about him. Therefore, study the scriptures on your own, go to Bible study, Sunday service, and so on, so that you can learn about him. Let Paul's desire in Philippians 3.10 be yours, that I, may, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death. You should also develop a closer relationship with the Holy Spirit because he is the spirit of truth and will teach us about Jesus. He also is the one that helps us to understand the scriptures. Do not stop at learning about Jesus and his likes and dislikes. Follow his footsteps. That is the best way to lift him up for the world to see. May the Lord grant us his grace in Jesus' name.